Hello YouTubers! It is now time for System Test 2 of the Simplex 4005 system for the test of September of 2013. First of which, I would like to show you guys some of the changes made in the system. First of which, now, on the uh, SmartSync series for the end of the line, or the SmartSync uh, circuit, um, we now have a 4906 uh, true alert, I forget the last four digits, um, it's a ceiling mount as you can tell. It is set to 15 candela. It is the multi candela because it's 4906. Um, that's that change. As well as this is a change, it may not look like it, but I had to replace uh, the true alert that used to be here. Um, as you know in the previous video for System Test 1, it was skipping strobe beats. That just kept getting worse and worse to the point where it wasn't even usable. So I replaced it, bought another one on eBay, um, and replaced this true alert. So this um, has the same cover as the last one, um, but it is a different unit. Now when making when I made the changes to the system, I just went up here and I disconnected the knack out for the true alerts which basically killed the power to all the true alerts. Um, I did that so that I wouldn't have to go through the pain in the butt thing of uh, setting the time date on the fire alarm panel and disconnecting all the power and the battery power. So um, yeah, that's the changes in the system. And now as well as, I forgot to add, but this, is, this new one is set to its factory default, which is 15 candela. Um, it used to be 110 on the other one, but I decided to make it 15. So everything in the system is now 15 candela on the SmartSync series uh, circuit. So um, let's give this thing a whirl. Let's power this thing on and let's give it a test for the September. So I will use a different pull station this time just because just to mix things up. You know what? This time I'm actually going to use my 270 SPO Edwards. As I said in the previous video, if you had watched it, um, everything in the system is simplex except for I forgot to add that I have one Edwards 270 SPO um, pull station along with the smoke sensor. So the 270 SPO as well as the smoke sensors are not simplex. Everything else is. So uh, let's do this one. I've, I don't think, uh, yeah, I haven't done this one yet. So... I'm just going to do it the drill, will, drill way again, open the system, and let me get a light on it here so we can see, and here we go. As you can see, the uh, chiller is going. Shut up. 
the pain. Alarm sounds completed, plus, er, excuse me, alarm sounds completed, press any key. Main lobby, that's what that one's called, system reset. And as you can see, um, last video, the true alert only went for at least probably two minutes without skipping. This one is doing pretty well. It hasn't skipped at all, and I've had it on longer than normal, as you can tell. So we're waiting for the system to reset. Well, that resets. Let's go watch the smart sync true alert over here until the system resets. As you can see here, it has a different click when the strobe is activated by the sync module. And system reset complete. No alarms present. Restore previous screen pressing key. Don't even don't even ask why I know that, but I do. What is the LCD display? Ugh, the LCD display says. So extra clear twice. As always, system is normal with the correct time and date. And that was system test two. Thanks for watching.